so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quite different video to what I've done in the past and it's going to be all based on geography. So I'm going to be talking about <laughs> places to visit around Halloween time in the UK. Now there is some amazing amazing events that are happening this year. I personally haven't been to anything in October of I believe I did once go to Yacht Dungeons, but that is going to be in a different video for another reason. <laughs> so I'm going to talk through, I've done some research and I've looked through um, different events that are happening across the UK, mostly based in London, which is a darn shame because if you don't live in London, it's a bit of a trick sometimes to get there. But it could be worth it if you're really, really intrigued with any of these events and want to look further into it. Anything I mention, I'll leave details down below as well as where it is, what the dates are, how much it is, all that jazz. So I'm going to get straight on into it. Now the first one I was able to discover sounds pretty, pretty cool. And that is called Scouse of Things. Now this is at Constellations in Liverpool on the Friday the 27th of October. Now, um, this is going to be in homage to Stranger Things, which is an amazing, amazing TV show set in the 80s. Now, you're going to be able to walk through all different sets and props of that amazing TV show, as well as listen to amazing bands that are going to be playing the songs of the series, as well as being able to have a lovely memory with friends and catch up. I don't know if there is anything scary related there or it's just like set up as a bar so over 18 but it's quite quite cool to think they've set up a whole concept of Stranger Things within one um, one little area and I've seen them do this in New York and it looked amazing and they had themed drinks as well as everyone dressed up and it seems like a really fun thing to do. I'll just double check the price for you. I can't find it now but I will find it and pop it in. So they've basically teamed up with a film production team to push through to the underneath featuring backdrops, immersive aerial settings, supernatural beings and classic 80s arcade consoles and even telepathic soundscapes. We've got your Halloween ticked off and it's £5 entry which actually isn't that bad and it looks like it'll be something so fun and different to do to what you normally do on a night out so I think that sounds awesome. Now the next one is set in London and this is called the Haunted Theatreland Walking Tour. So basically you're going to go on a little discovery of London's theatres. Now theatres tend to be more haunted than you think and I think because a lot of tragedies happen especially behind the scenes people used to work especially in the olden days when things were so much harder to be able to work now I think this will be an amazing amazing experience because you get to go to proper places that have proper history and proper stories behind them and I've been to a ghost walk before and I loved it it was on Halloween in York so we had a couple of <laughs> Bumps along the road like there was, uh, because of course it was Halloween and where we were going it was around the um, party scene of York so everyone was going around that wasn't part of our, our gang was going ooh and trying to like make fun of us but we were there to have fun and that's what we did and ghost walks are amazing amazing it takes you on an intellectual journey and I think going to the theatres makes it even more spooky and you get to learn about a clown, a phantom, all the amazing spooky things of the unexplained world. So that is an amazing one set in London. Another thing that you can do with London is go on a original Jack the Ripper tour. Now this sounds so so fun to me because you get to put yourself in the detective shoes at that time and go to each original murder scene as it can possibly be now. I do know there's only one that's originally able to get to us per se but you do walk around where the streets were that time of Whitechapel and it sounds like it's a very very respected community in this Jack Ripper tour. There is quite a few of them out there and 
but they have authors that are critically acclaimed to know so much about this and have been seen on many many historical aspects and it sounds like a really really different way to spend Halloween if you're wanting to go and rich yourself in some quite graphic but it's intriguing because we was never really found and I think that's why it still lives to this day and one of the most mind-boggling things that has happened in London and I believe it sets the scene because you get to see the things as they were in a little way because I'm guessing your tour guide will describe to you what things were like at that time why people become began to become scared and, and mayhem ensued basically so yes I feel that a very intriguing one to do if you're into your history. Also in London, I believe they also have this in York and Edinburgh, and this is a ghost bus tour. Now, the whole bus is decked out like a 1940s living room, like it's all red velvet and little chandeliers, and it looks so, so cute. And again, they take you around really big hotspots in London, they take you over the Tower Bridge, the Houses of Parliament, Westminster Abbey, Downing Street, St Paul's Cathedral, the Tower of London and graveyards and it looks like a really really awesome way to again pick up on your history and get to see a bit more of London in a way in a new light so that is very very intriguing also. You get a few surprises along the way which sounds really really good as well so they all sound really really intriguing. I know that it's a little bit of a mismatch and if you're intrigued with any of these I'll leave them down below. I'm certainly intrigued with them. I don't know if I'll be able to go this year but in the future it's something I would definitely definitely look into and I thought I'd do a little insight for you guys if you're intrigued in something to do for October and around Halloween time. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!